Hello everyone, welcome to Static GK quiz number 37. This video is aimed to help you with your central and state government job examinations. I'm Ritrisha from GK today and I'll be taking you through this. Which among the following is a source of atomic energy? The correct answer is uranium. Uranium is a weakly radioactive substance because all its isotopes are unstable. Uranium-235 is the only naturally occurring fissile isotope which makes it widely used in nuclear power plants and nuclear weapons. Uranium-238 is fissionable by fast neutrons and is fertile, meaning it can be transmuted to fissile plutonium-239 in a nuclear reactor. Another fissile isotope, uranium-233, can be produced from natural thorium and is also important in nuclear technology. In which year former Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi was assassinated? The assassination of Rajiv Gandhi occurred as a result of a suicide bombing near Chennai in Tamil Nadu, India on Tuesday, 21st May 1991. So the correct answer is 1991. At least 14 others were also killed. It was carried out by one member of the Liberation Tigers of Tamil Elam or LTTE, a militant organization from Sri Lanka. At the time, India had just ended its involvement through the Indian peacekeeping force in the Sri Lankan Civil War. Through which of the following states, Chambal River does not flow? The Chambal River, as you can see on the map, is a tributary of the Yamuna River. The river flows north to northeast through Madhya Pradesh, running for a time through Rajasthan, then forming the boundary between Rajasthan and Madhya Pradesh before turning southeast to join the Yamuna in Uttar Pradesh state. So the only state it does not flow through here is Gujarat. How many members can be nominated to the Lok Sabha by the President? Article 331, that is representation of the Anglo-Indian community in Lok Sabha states that President may appoint two members from the Anglo-Indian community to the Lok Sabha if they are not represented adequately, notwithstanding anything mentioned in Article 81, which deals with composition of Lok Sabha. So the correct answer is two. Which among the following parts of the Constitution of India includes the concept of welfare states? The correct answer is directive principles. A welfare state is a concept of the government in which the state plays a key role in the protection and promotion of economic and social well-being of its citizens. It is based on the principle of equality of opportunity and equitable distribution of wealth. Directive principles of state policy aim to create social and economic conditions under which the citizens can lead a good life. They also aim to establish social and economic democracy through a welfare state. On which of the following Ramanujacharya gave stress? So Ramanujacharya or Ramanuja was a Hindu theologian, philosopher and one of the most important exponents of the Sri Vaishnavism tradition within Hinduism. His philosophical foundations for devotionalism were influential to the Bhakti movement. He presented the epistemic and sociological importance of bhakti or the devotion to a personal god, which in his case was Vishnu. He pointed out that this meant spiritual liberation. So the correct answer is bhakti. Under which of the following articles of constitution of India, president can impose presidential rule in a state? Under article 356 of the constitution of India, in the event that a state government is unable to function, according to constitutional provisions, the central government can take direct control of the state machinery. Grand Slam is used in which of the following games? The correct answer is lawn tennis. What is the maximum duration of interval between two sessions of the parliament? From time to time, the sessions of the parliament are called upon by the president. According to the constitution, the maximum gap between two sessions cannot be more than six months. Thus, in a year, there must be at least two sessions of the parliament. However, there are usually three sessions, that is budget session, which is between February to May, monsoon session, which is between July to September, and winter session, which is between November to December. In which state is the Manas Sanctuary located? So, as you can see on the map, the correct answer is Assam. The Manas Wildlife Sanctuary is a UNESCO Natural World Heritage Site, a Project Tiger Reserve, an Elephant Reserve and a Biosphere Reserve in Assam. It is a home to a great variety of wildlife, including many endangered species like tiger, pygmy hog, Indian rhinoceros and Indian elephant. 
That's all for today's quiz. Until the next video, goodbye.